Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia. I post new tutorials every Thursday, primarily on Tumblrs, but I do do a lot of other things. So when you're done watching this video, jump back on my channel and check out some of the other cute things I've done. All right, so this is part three. I know it's long overdue. I am so sorry, guys. I just have been like tied up with so many things all at once that it's taken me a while and I should have gotten this out to you at least a week ago. But here it is, the lid as the final touch to the cauldron tumbler with the coaster. All right guys, so if you're interested to see how this comes out, stick around and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, I started this lid by sanding it and spray painting it a lime green color. Then I went in and I did a couple coats of glow in the dark spray. And now I am drilling holes in this lid. So the idea is to have these holes in this lid so that when I put dry ice in it, it's gonna come, the the, the fogginess, the steam is gonna come up through these holes and look like it's just, you know, the colder and smoking or whatever. Whether or not this is gonna work, I have no idea. All right, so I have a drill. I don't know the size of the drill bit. It's about the same size as the weep hole in the lid existing already. And so I put several of these in here. I wanna make sure that I have at least a couple that are open when I go to cover, you know, so like when I cover, I know some of these are gonna get covered once I begin doing this. So I ordered these, these glass or plastic beads from Amazon and they have holes in them and they come in different sizes. So I kinda of like that there's different sizes and I also found these uh, vase fillers, which are glass, but they're only one size at Michael's. So I have all of these. And I'm sorry if you can hear laughing. I am in an office and they are really loud next door. So I'm doing this on my lunch hour, guys. I am trying to multitask and get stuff done for, for the tutorials because I know this is so overdue. And when I did the intro, it was a week overdue. Now it's like three weeks overdue. So I'm so sorry, guys. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these glass beads and I am just going to use UV resin and glue them to this lid. And I'm gonna put them in random and I'm trying not to cover the holes. So I'm trying to like, you know, space them so that the, the holes are open underneath the beads so that it can, you know, so that the steam can find its way and work its way up through these beads to come out. And if this works out, it's gonna be so super cool. And I really need to find where I can get some dry ice so that I can finish this video because as of right now, I don't have the dry ice and I really need to do that for the final effect and my final remarks. All right, so I'm hyper speeding this up. I'm just taking the beads and putting them in as I feel appropriate. So this is no rhyme or reason, no technique. You're just gonna put them in based on space and where you think they look good. But the idea is to put these in this lid and make it look like bubbles are coming up out of the cauldron. And so I'm using, again, you know, I just continue to use the UV resin. It's really great because it fees, you know, freezes these in place. And I guess I could have used my super weld that I use in a lot of the other videos, but uh, I decided to use this UV resin instead. All right, and so here I go. I'm still placing these beads on. It takes a little, a little bit to get in there because I'm working with little beads and big beads and it's just making sure that it looks right and not silly and I'm not covering the hole that you're gonna put the straw into. This is not a lid you're gonna wanna drink out of, guys. I, I, I'm just gonna tell you that right now. This is not, you're not gonna put your mouth on this. So uh, you definitely need to leave that open for the straw. All right, so these beads are white and are clear. So I'm taking alcohol ink and I am covering the beads with the alcohol ink to make them green. And then I'm gonna give them a couple of coats of this glow in a dark spray paint. All right, so now I'm gonna use more UV resin and I'm gonna mix up like a green goop, goop, which is gonna look like the overflowing in the, actually, what am I doing now? Oh, so right now I'm just actually using regular UV resin to coat the green uh, beads because I wanted to leave them kind of translucent uh, so that they looked more bubbly. I actually wound up not liking that look completely. So I come in and I am using UV resin and this is where I'm gonna mix up my concoction of green to get it to look like the ooze that's coming down the side of the cauldron. And this is my first attempt at this. And so I did it, I mixed it up, 
and you're going to see that I put it all around and I did not like the color. I was not happy with it. Like, so I measured and I thought that the color looked good, but when I got it on the lid, I wasn't happy with it. And I actually sat on it for a week because I was really upset and I was like, all right, what am I going to do? You know? And like, I was like, when I'm not feeling something, I will sit on it for like a week or two before I go back, like I have to think about what I want to do. And I'm like, all right, do I want to leave it? And if in two weeks I'm not loving it, then I have to figure out how I'm going to fix it. And so I, that's what happened with this. So I went in and I went all around the edge and I tried to make it look goopy, like it was going to be over, you know, that it was the overflow so that there was you know, a, like a fluent transition from the lid going down the cup. And yeah, once I got done with this, I did not achieve that look or the color. And I was like, oh, all right, let me just let, let me just sit on it for a little bit. So I did. I sat on it for a little bit and I came back and said, nope, I am not liking it. All right. So attempt number two, I go in there, I put it on there. I go, yeah, definitely not. All right. So now I mix up a new batch of green goopy looking stuff and I measure and I think, oh, yep, this is a better color. And so I start putting it on and now I am getting happier. So I decide to put it on the top too. Like I'm not going to like really cake it on the top, but I'm just going to kind of put it on there to give it some more texture. And so I'm really happy with this and I'm going around the edge again, reminding you, this is not a drinkable lid. So you will have to put a straw in here. And, uh, so here it is curing and I will be back with my final remarks. All right, guys, lid is done. I know, seriously overdue. We are way past Halloween at this point, but you have something fun for next year, right? Or if you just like Halloween all year round, you can totally do that too. But, so I, I am so happy with this now. The way it came out, I'm gonna place the lid like this. So, of course, you do see this little seam, but you need that, you need that little seam uh, so that the epoxy got sealed up here when I did my final coats. And then here is the coaster. And so let's turn this on and there it is full effect. Here it is. It came together. It just took me a long time. Tell me guys what you think of this whole setup and, um, leave a comment below. Thank you all for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment. I love to hear your feedback. Make sure you check out my group. It's a, uh, it's a craft thing. Oh my goodness, here we go, tongue-tied stuff. Check out my Facebook group, It's a Craft Thing, and my Instagram, It's a Craft Thing, for things I post that I don't do tutorials on, as well as Glitter Makes It Superstars group. Go ahead and check them out, and they have fun giveaways every Sunday. All right, guys, I will see you all next time. Bye. All right, so I finally got my hands on some dry ice, and I love this look. Although the lid did not work as I wanted it to, I must have plugged up the holes with the epoxy, but it still came out of the straw hole, so it uh, is still a win for me. So I'm super happy with this, and uh, now I'm just going to put on some music and just keep watching.